Hi everybody and welcome back to another K Crochets tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet in the rounds. Um, so you're just going to need a hook and yarn and that is all. It doesn't matter what size of hook or what type of yarn, whatever you have on hand. I'm personally using an 8mm crochet hook and some Bernay Maker Home Decor yarn. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by making a magic circle and they are kind of intimidating at first. I had a hard time with them when I first learned. Um, so I'm going to try and explain it in a way that is easy to understand. Um, so go ahead and grab your yarn and you're going to place the yarn end over two fingers like this and you're going to wrap it around like so and make an X on the front like that. You're then going to grab your hook or you can use your finger whichever way is easiest for you and go under the top right. I'm going to move that over a little bit. So go under the top right strand of the yarn and grab that top left strand with your hook. And this is where it gets a little tricky because um, you turn your hook like so. So go ahead and pull that through and turn that hook like that. So I'm going to show you again though, but um, so yeah, that's what a magic circle looks like, but let's do it again. I'm going to show you one more time. So you're going to place the yarn over your two fingers like this, wrapping it around and leave that tail a little long. Um, it makes it a little easier to work in the magic circle, wrap it around. Make an X like this, grab your hook, go under the top right, grabbing the top left and pulling that through and then turning your hook like so. So it's a little loose, so go ahead and tighten it by pulling the, the end strand and by holding the working yarn, which is the yarn that you're actually pulling from. And how I hold my working yarn is I go over my pinky, under my two middle fingers and over my, my pointer finger, like so. That doesn't mean it's the right way. Um, everyone crochets their, the way they like, um, but that's how I do it. It seems to slide easy. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start by chaining one, and all you do is you yarn over, which just means you go like that. So I just turn my hook to yarn over. Some people do it a different way. Um, but this seems to be quicker so I just yarn over like that turning my hook under and facing it down and pulling it through the loop on the hook so I'm going to show you again so you're going to yarn um, chain one which is just yarning over and pulling through one time so you ready you're going to grab that yarn while your hook is facing up grab it and turn your hook down like so. So you kind of hook it and pull it through the loop on your hook like so. Congratulations! You just chained one. All right, we're now going to single crochet nine times into the circle. So this may get a little tricky just because you have to hold on to that tail, but go ahead and place your hook into the circle like so. Yarning over, again, you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through the circle. You now have two loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over one more time, like so, your hook facing up, turning it down, and pulling it through both loops on your hook. You have now created one single crochet. Good job. I'm gonna show you again. Um, so go ahead and place your hook through the circle, like so, grabbing that yarn, so yarning over and pulling that through, then yarning over again and pulling it through both loops on your hook. That is now two single crochets in your circle. And again, you need a total of nine. So go ahead and do seven more single crochets. And I'll meet you at the end of this round. So this is the end of round one. It's all kind of clustered and that's okay. We'll fix that. Um, so I have nine single crochets. 
I am now going to pull the end strand to tighten the circle like so. So pull it tight, but don't break your yarn. Um, and go ahead and grab that working yarn again. You're now going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Um, so go ahead and count back nine stitches just to make sure that you are slip stitching into the right one. Um, so let's go ahead and count. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to be slip stitching into that stitch. And so what a slip stitch is, is you're going to place your hook through the stitch. And it might be a little tight. Don't worry. We'll loosen that up later on. Um, and yarn over to grab the yarn and pull that through like so. And instead of single crocheting, which is another yarn over, you're just going to pull that yarn straight through the loop on your hook like that. So that's a slip stitch. I'm going to show you again. Alrighty. So place your hook into the stitch like that. Yarning over, grabbing that yarn and pulling it through and then immediately pulling it through the loop on your hook already. And that is slip stitching. Um, so great job. That's round one. So let's move on to round two. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, chain one to begin. So you yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook as a reminder. And for this round, you're going to place two single crochets in every stitch around. Um, so I want you to really understand what working in the rounds is. If you want to create a perfect circle, um, you just have to increase by the number that you start with in every round. So for instance, we started with nine. The second round needs to be nine plus nine, which is a total of 18. So you're doubling in every stitch. Um, and you'll see as we go on to the next rounds what I'm talking about. So go ahead and place two single crochets in the first stitch, which is the same stitch that you placed a chain one. So it's right below it. So make sure again that you don't start in the big stitch that it kind of looks like the first stitch. Start in the stitch right beneath, right there. Because that is all one stitch. I hope that makes sense and I hope you can see it really well. So again, place two single crochets in the first stitch. So place your, your hook through the stitch, yarning over, pulling that through. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And that's again how you make a single crochet. Go ahead and make another one in the same stitch. And again, make two in every stitch around. And I'll meet you at the end of round two. Coming up at the end of round two, I'm just placing my last two single crochets into the last stitch. And I wanted to point out um, what the last stitch actually looks like because it can be a little tricky. Um, so as you can see, when you work in the rounds, it almost looks like there's two stitches left. Do you see that? Um, but that's actually a chain one space, that second one right there. Um, so that's not a stitch. That's part of the first stitch and that you don't want to crochet into that. Um, your last stitch is right there. And another way you can tell that you're coming up on your last stitch is just simply by counting. If you were to add two more stitches to that one, you would have a total of 20 stitches instead of 18. Um, so you clearly know that to not work in that last one. Um, so again, I'm just placing my last two right there. And then again, I just want to make sure that I have a total of 18 stitches and then I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch. So I do have a total of 18 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the very first stitch, just like you did before, just yarning over and pulling it directly through. And then you're going to chain one to begin round three. So for round three, 
to expand it properly and equally you just need to increase by nine so we're going from 18 stitches to 27 stitches so you will be placing one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch and that's the repeating pattern around so it's one two one two one two i hope that gets stuck in your head um, so go ahead and do that for round three and you will be ending with an increase which is the two stitches and I will meet you at the end of this round. At the end of round three and again I'm finishing with an increase so I'm placing two single crochets in the last stitch and then slip stitching into the very first stitch. So just make sure you have a total of 27 stitches. And I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, slip stitch into the first stitch like so. And then I'm going to chain one to begin round four. And I wanna explain this again, just another way to increase a circle properly. Um, another way you can remember of like, you know, what increase to do. So we just did, you know, we on round two, you just placed two single crochets in every stitch. The round three, it was every other stitch. Well, round four, it's gonna be every third stitch. Um, so one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two for round four. And round five, it'll continue as in to one, 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 two, one, 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 two. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's another way to remember like how many increases you need to do in every round. Um, so again, go ahead for round four, place an increase in the, every third stitch. So one, one, two, one, one, two. And I will meet you at the end of round four. At the end of round four, I am just going to place my last increase in the last stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to count and make sure that there's a total of 36 stitches to make sure that we are on track to continue a perfect circle. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope this was, if anything, entertaining and I hope you made a circle, but I also hope that you really learned how to properly increase a circle. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. Um, but other than that, check out my other tutorials. There's a few beginner ones and there's a few easy. Um, so go ahead and check out my page. Let me know again if I could do anything better for you. Um, and I hope to make more beginner courses for you guys. So happy making and good luck crocheting.